Hey everyone, so as you know, full home-based learning will be implemented from next Wednesday due to the COVID-19 situation. So for myself, I hope to do my part to help Singapore parents on how to navigate home-based learning to empower your children during this period. So home-based learning in Singapore mostly revolves around an online platform called Student Learning Space by MOE used by every student in Singapore. So as a parent myself, I have been using and guiding my boy a lot on using the system over the past few weeks. So in today's video, I shall guide fellow parents on how to use the student learning space system successfully. Okay, so let's jump right in. Alright, so this is the screen I believe a lot of parents will already have been familiar with when you try to log into the student learning system by MOE. So over on your right side, you'll see your username. I believe your children have already have their username and the password, if you have not changed the password before, I believe you can use their default password and we just click login. Okay, once you go, once you manage to log in successfully, you will be able to see, let me see, let me try again. Okay, so you'll be able to, to see this particular screen. This is what I call the dashboard, an overview of what are the tasks that your children supposed to do. So, okay, you'll be able to see your child's name here and there. And on your left side of, of this particular column, you will see what was assigned to your child. So, for example, you see these three things, right, are, are what was assigned to my children. And when is the date due? La? So, it's written here, date due by 9th of April. So, you should, uh, you should get your child to complete their assignment with, within this stipulated date. So, if your children has already started on some of this assignment, this particular part, uh, this particular tab will automatically move on to this part in progress where they already done halfway. So that you can, they and you can check on their progress on what are the percentage that they have done. So once the assignment has already been done, it will move, all the tabs will move to this particular completed part. So you can also check the history on the list of uh, assignment that your children has done or you can go back and your children can also do it again if they want to. Okay, so on this particular part, under the announcement, so you'll see a few uh, quite important announcements, uh, maybe uh, sent out by the teachers or whether by the school here and there. So, okay, this, so this is the overview of the dashboard. So before I move on to this particular right side, right, I will uh, show you all, I'll take a look at this notification bell. So if your school have sent you guys any important uh, notification for parents to take note, you'll be able to see the list of important notifications under this bell and this particular little guy, okay, the little human logo, you'll be able to see your child's name and you can edit your profile. So uh, for security reasons, after you have used the SLS system, remember to log out every single time. Okay, so this is a basic overview of the SLS system under the dashboard. So we'll jump right in on the left navigation menu. Okay, so you can either press this to expand the menu or you can just go and half hover around it and you'll be able to see uh, the list of uh, menus and sub menus as well. So home is of course to go back home to this dashboard as well. You can also go back home by pressing this logo too. Okay, so we'll check out the assignment section to see what is inside. Okay. Under the assignment section, you get even an even better overview of the list of assignments that your children are supposed to do. So you can scroll down to see under which class, which group, which category, when is the start date, and when is the due date, and if you want to open them, just straight away you can also open from there. So it's as simple as that. It gives a better overview as compared to the dashboard on the list of, your, of assignments that your children are supposed to do. Okay. On the second uh, navigation, the sub-menu, you will also see self-study. Okay, Self-study, from what I believe, is uh, those that are not enforced assignment, but your children uh, can voluntarily go in and go and have a look and what are the self-study things that your maybe your children has assigned to, uh, no, not children, rather it's the, what the teacher has assigned to the children to do. Okay, there, from what you see, right, as compared to the assignment, there are no due date, but there also, you will, uh, the children, I mean, the children, the parents, and the teachers will be able to see from the back end when is the last time your children has uh, logged in and attend, attend this, particular, this particular subject, this particular task. Okay, you can open from here. So maybe I just open one uh, to show you what is it about. So once you 
open a particular task or assignment or subject right you will be able to see something like this and overview what this particular uh, thing is all about you can just press the start button you will be able to see this particular assignment inside so on the activity list there will be like introduction you can listen uh, and choose read and record so there are a list of activities you can take note on your right side of your panel as you log in to the particular uh, particular subject or task Okay, so this is under the self-study mode. So lower down the menu is uh, there's my classes and my groups. Okay, I can, I can click in and see under my classes. You will be able to see an overview of your children's uh, list of classes, whether it's art class, children's class, English class, how many students are there, how many teachers are there. You can click one and go and have a look. So under that particular class, what are the assignments that was assigned in that particular class? What are the things that is uh, in progress? What are those that your children has completed and the announcement for that particular subject? So if uh, do not worry about going in and clicking every individual one of them every single time because your children, whenever you have any new assignment, right, your children will be able to see under the dashboard as well. Okay, so after my classes, there's also my groups. Okay, these are the list of groups right, that your children is under. So over here, you, it's, it's almost the same as something like under my classes, uh, just that this is, uh, they can be further split down into groups. And also, uh, most likely you also have this particular huge group, uh, which consists of all the uh, students under primary one and some of the teachers as well. So this is under the groups. Okay, you don't really have to uh, assess them quite often because the list of assignments will normally already be in the dashboard. And the last but not least, right, I would like to show you the MOE library, which I find is very, very interesting. Eh? There's a lot of things, uh, just, like a, just like a library of things that your children will be able to do under here during their own time, maybe during this month when you're spending with your child at home. Right? You will, I guess you guys will be uh, accessing this MOE library a lot. And what the wonderful thing about this particular MOE library is, uh, I love that it is being uh, split down, it being categorized rather into the various subjects that your children can go in and navigate and learn new things under like there's Chinese, PE, music, art, English, mathematics, social studies, or quite a lot. So the particular, particular library is quite exhaustive. So I believe during this month of learning, uh, you will be there will be more than enough uh, learning more than enough things for your children to go and navigate and uh, do I mean every single one of them maybe if you have the time let's go and click on one of the category okay maybe we can go and explore primary one art so under the art category whoa, you can see a lot of library of different things that your children can choose to do and on the history on uh, how what's the progress whether your child has accessed it before how much they have done on the particular uh, on the particular lesson okay so or you just click on anyone you can press start and you'll be able to look at the resources sometimes right it will be in the pdf format sometimes it'll be in the game format and sometimes will also be in video format so if you click on one of the resources you'll be able to see what are the things uh, perhaps this one this one of the print out that your, you yourself can print at home for your children to go and complete okay for this particular assignment and you can just click close and you want to go back to the library just press the back button okay so there are a lot a lot a lot more for parents for you guys to go in and and explore the library for the whole month so for uh, for example under this primary one so from here right on the library front page you'll be able to see four but if you want to uh you want to see more to so click in the particular subject category, right? You will also be able to see all these subcategory depending on depending on your lesson for for the day for what your child wants to learn for that particular day. So over here, you can see there's listening and viewing. If you want your children to learn about reading and viewing today, you can just expand this particular subject, and you'll be able to see some of the some of the tasks that your children can do. Okay, and even under the reading and viewing, you also be further segregated under like letter sound, letter name. So I, I already said this particular uh, MOE library is really exhaustive. That there, there are a lot of things for your children to do and complete during that particular month where your children is at home. Okay, there's a lot, a lot of things under MOE library. So I would say right, most of the time I suggest the parents to go into the MOE library to do. 
uh, to exercise a lot of learning where your, your, you will be able to guide your child to be able to uh, do them successfully. So there are a lot of uh, interesting things like games, like for example, I believe this is a game if I'm not wrong. Okay, no, this is a video. So they can sing along with this particular video. Oh, okay, okay, maybe it's too loud. Okay, there are also games to play with. Maybe we will go into a game to see what a game is like. So maybe this is a game. Okay, let's go and start it. Yes, probably I'm right, it's a game. So for games wise, right, I believe our children love games the most. Uh. So there's menu review on now. Hello, I am Krusty the Crab. That, that's interesting. Today we Not will too learn loud. how to form pronouns <laughs> from C. Yeah, I, never mind, it's okay. I let you I let you guys go in and uh, play around on your own. So most important of course, you need to have your child's user ID and the password to be able to navigate. Uh, into the system and again right if you want to go back to your home screen to see the list of assignment this is the most important screen uh, which is the dashboard uh, again assignment remember remember to get your child to finish the most important assignments that was assigned by their particular teachers uh, over here so you'll be able to see the list of assignments from all your teachers and remember to get your child to complete them by the stipulated date uh. so yeah so I hope this particular video has really helped you all to being able to navigate this home-based student learning system by MOE successfully and I wish you all all the best and really have a wonderful time with your children this particular month. Okay, bye-bye.